Now at six, the heartwarming story of a Tampa man on a mission. Jay Collins has had more than his share of hardship, but he is still thinking of others. And his motto is when people are in need, sometimes a hot meal goes a long way. Reporter Madison Allworth from our sister station in Tampa has Jay's story. To put in uh, the first lesson I learned is a Green Beret. We want to leave things better than we received it, so that's what we're trying to do. After serving 23 years in the Army, the last five as an amputee, retired Army Green Beret and combat wounded Jay Collins retired in December of 2018. By the start of the new year, he was on a new mission. Rather than taking a big vacation or laying back, I decided, you know, let, let's just get right back into work. So I took my position as the head of non-disaster programs with Operation Barbecue Relief. And the next thing I know, I'm running and biking and hand cycling across America, serving barbecue to people. During the Breaking Bread Tour, Jay covered 3,000 miles over eight states in 50 days with just one leg. It's just a new way to do old tricks. If you let your circumstances define who you are, you're never going to live life to your fullest. And it's never slowed him down. You just put your left foot forward and then your right foot. And honestly, uh, luckily mine come off so I can uh, put them on. It's a little bit easier, right? Based off of weather and road conditions, Jay either biked or ran or hand cycled nearly 60 miles every single day to get this mission done. The duration of this thing is something yeah, I had to wrap my head around. The repetitive piece of doing 60 miles a day, every single day for 50 days, there was a little bit of breakdown uh, physically. But Jay wasn't alone. He had an incredible team and his whole family with him to travel safely and deliver hot meals to those in need. Because when I saw this, that people were sad and we fed them, I was happy now. And I, I feed chips. Chips are good. What's your favorite type of chip? Uh, actually, potatoes. Potato chips. The people are in Panama City, where a year later, they're still not fully recovered. Tyndall Air Force Base isn't fully functional. You still see the smile on faces. And not just any hot meal barbecue. That's the best thing about it is, um, you know, they're they're getting a comfort, comfortable meal during disasters or non-disasters. You know, they get to spend time and barbecue's a, a fun time. So they enjoy sitting there with with the meal and talking. That was Madison Allworth reporting. Now, Operation Barbecue Relief is a nonprofit organization that provides food to first responders and victims of natural disasters. Since 2011, they have served three million hot meals and as they said in the story not just meals we're talking really barbecue really good meals I, know, I love that story because he's getting out there and getting active no excuses but also giving back oh nothing is stopping him oh, i love the story but i don't